Common Medical Conditions, Chapter 4 or 5 of the, what chapter is this? Circulatory System. Arterial sclerosis, that's disorder of the arteries characterized by a buildup of fatty deposits called, or example is cholesterol. So, the disorder of the arteries characterized by a buildup of fatty deposits, better known as cholesterol. Then that next sentence, also remember that, fatty deposits may harden, eventually block the arteries. Sometimes diabetes causes it, underline that, high fat diet, obesity, family history, a lot of times, family history of mess with you. Um, they go straight to having a heart attack. We talk about arteriosclerosis, but that's your your result is having a, a stroke. Actually, um, symptoms include chest pain, slurred speech, numbness on the arms or legs. And this like a heart attack. Um, but that's what happens. They, they not block. It's just a blockage of those blood vessels that you need to flow blood. And something's happened is is uh, blocking it. Um, they can uh, diagnose it, underline diagnose, which is an intravascular ultrasound, CT scan. They're just gonna take it, and they actually have a little light type thing that they take pictures of whether it's um, done or not. They also can put you to sleep and go inside your heart and look. They'll do all that, but that's that's part of what that is. Treatment: anti-cholesterol medications. Beta blocker medications or antiplatelet drugs. What is, um, give me a cholesterol medication. Medication, people. And that should be flipping out your head by now. So cool. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hmm? So, Sylvester? Sylvester. 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 Um, cholesterol and they've got several of them but anything with a statin it's gonna be that um, in the blood. edema is a condition of swelling which is caused by too much fluid in body tissue underline that that's the general definition of edema swelling caused by too much fluid in body tissue and people would say they have edema that's when their legs are swollen ankle swollen pregnant people who've got edema um, sick people, congestive heart people, all of that is um, swelling. Too much body uh, fluid somewhere. Sometimes it can indicate heart failure, kidney disease. That means your heart may not be pumping your blood the way it needs to. Um, so you got to watch out when people have edema. If it's just one side, then maybe they have an injury to that side. But uh, always, if it's both sides, you know, we, we're going to watch it. Because you may just be bloated from eating too much salt, maybe a little blood pressure issues, but sometimes it's congestive heart failure or bad vein, but, um, or just staying up on your feet too long, especially pregnant people. You've got to overload anyway. Next thing you know, you you, you got overload, fluid everywhere, and um, that's why pregnant people's feet really swell. Mine swell by the end of the day, which isn't good, probably because of smoke. But, um, it does indicate that your heart is not being able to pump all that stuff back up so it can do but if you go to sleep raise your legs up and your legs are unswollen when you wake up uh that's that's a good sign that means you know your body is tolerating it and that it was just swelling so uh, know that as well always put your feet up when you're swelling hemorrhage y'all know what that is condition of blood loss from the blood vessels it can be traumatic or medical, just meaning that somebody could have shot you and you bled. Or um, you had an aneurysm and you bled. But that's what hemorrhage is. Know the differences on to that. We know that we're going to add pressure to wounds. We don't let pressure up. And you don't go peeping at a wound to see if it stopped bleeding. You just put something else on it if, if you can't, if, you can't, if you're ready to let it go, put something else on top of it, especially if it's a big one. Um, arteries take longer to clot than veins veins clot a whole lot quicker than an artery um cold applications reduce blood flow underline that and know what thrombophlebitis is that whole word is exactly what it means thrombo meaning blood clot we already know what thrombo means right mm -hmm. blood clot sit on that side um also, causes may be included are uh, major surgery, sitting for too long. But break down that word before we leave it. 
swelling or inflammation of the vein that causes a blood clot. So look at your word, thrombo, flea body. So thrombo is a blood clot. Flea means vein. Itis is swelling. So it is a clot that's swelling the vein and uh, that's thrombo phlebitis. So that's that first definition, underline that. Swelling or inflammation of a vein or veins caused by a blood clot. And they'll be tender, they'll be hurting, sometimes all kind of uh, uh, stuff like that.